Thank you. Oh. Good morning, uh, dear colleagues. This uh, area of uh, pre-tension, pre-stress structures is quite complicated. Not everyone uh, has to deal with it daily. That is why I won't go into too much detail. You can uh, view this copy, your own personal copy of the presentation uh, to think about some details. But again, how can uh, uh, how uh, can uh, um, can we work? We can use our pre-tension, uh, pre-stress, and uh, post-tensioning, and there are various types uh, of uh, systems, bonded systems, unbonded systems, and in sophistic, you can uh, set any type of um, reinforcement. So in order to fit into the time allocated for my presentation, I will speak mostly about post-tensioning. So here you see three options. And uh, in, my, in our work, we will use uh, wire rope reinforcement according to GHOST. And now let's go to the theoretical part, the test settings and verifications and so on. So first of all, we create a system of uh, post-tensioning. And Sophistic suggests uh, six uh, company, uh, six systems of uh, world-class companies uh, with brand, very good brand names. But you can create your own drop-down list with uh, your settings, with your companies, with your subcontractors. And so you can use your customized data. And it's not possible to make a mistake uh, here, and all of these results will retain, and you will be able to use them further. The system is highly adjustable. Each user in Sophistic can uh, manage and can adjust the output sections and uh, representation of data so you can uh, uh, elongation and volumes and, and everything useful. Here is the uh, graph of loss and tensioning and uh, this one verification of uh, forces and losses and uh, here uh, we compared to manual calculations and uh, the difference between manual calculations and sophisticated calculation is less than 1%. So it's very accurate and can be highly trusted. And uh, you, uh, here, we to verify the results, we use very simple examples for ropes. Uh, in sophistic and manual calculation on the right hand side and the results are highly accurate. You can use various options uh, for uh, calculating different parameters. Here we can define the elongation of the wire ropes and volume. We use, just use the geometrical uh, area. And here, relaxation of uh, uh, reinforcement and shrinkage and creep, everything can be taken into account. And this uh, CSM module is very crucial. Uh, you can uh, if you use this module, you can uh, calculate the difference between pre-tensioning and post-tensioning. And so sequence, construction sequ stage sequence is very important and time effects. Secondary hyperstatic, uh, second order parasitic uh, effects, you can um, take them into account. It's a very accurate calculation, and I would like to thank the developers because it uh, it saves a lot of time to engineer for engineers. And now some theory and two very easy questions. You can 
take a look at them in more detail after the presentation. Here you can see hyperstatic moments, and you can uh, you can view review it later. But now let's go to the practical part. So why Revit? In our company, we want to work in a unified environment on a unified platform. That is why we customize Revit. We set it up for our needs. Uh, so Sophistic has a lot of options uh, for uh, setting up um, a rope, wire rope reinforcement. But uh, some ropes cannot be copied uh, to other um, floors uh, to uh, other stories and if uh, ropes are used at the same time in uh, slabs and uh, in beams uh, we need to assign numbers some things manually and it's not very convenient that is why we uh, use some tasks in Revit and some in Sophistic so uh, we have families, uh, wire ropes families in Revit, and we apply Russian ghost norms. So here you, everything is clear, and we export the model to Sophistic. And after that, we use the uh, user interface uh, that we um, uh, developed for as an add-on to Revit, and we adjust the model. And then I'll show you, now I'm showing you uh, I'm showing a short workflow of how we work with this. And so it can be a parking structure. We select a family for beams, materials, bonded systems, uh, for instance, nine wire ropes uh, in one bundle. And then we start uh, defining the layout. And you see uh, the um, points, the fixture points, and uh, the, uh, we also can uh, take form work into account. And then uh, we select uh, the placement of additional elements. And here we see the ants that uh, on different types of uh, areas, and here we copy. We use Sophie Plus, Sophie Plus, setting up, and for slabs, for slabs we use another ghost, monostrands, non-bonded quantity and length, and we define which ants are which. At the ends, we set up the type of layout. Quantity, again, copying everything. And after that, we see the model. First of all, the slab model, we uh, set, set up material properties and sections and dimensions. And we check for correctness, nor code check, and geometry. And we see that we don't see high strength reinforcement while we don't have the ropes. After that, we use. We use groups, although it could be, it can be done at the very beginning. Then turn an expert, expert, Sophistic WPS works with the codes, and the here we see that here we have uh, tandems and geometry is the same and high uh, strength steel is uh, used here and we automate routine operations. We see that everything has been transferred, bonded, unbonded systems, materials, everything is correct. And we start the calculation 
the calculation runs and we see combinations and after that separately we can see in the animation module the reaction of uh, this analytic model uh, to loading in beams and in slabs. So that's all. After that we use WinGraph as a standard module for viewing results. We can view anything we like. We can uh, go to any uh, results and any level. And that's a very interesting uh, picture. Uh, left you see unbonded tendons and bonded tendons on the right. And uh, you can see how it all distributes. Uh, and now drawings in Revit. I already mentioned that we use our single platform for drawing generation. And now we are laying out the reinforcement. And after that, we simply plot the drawings. Despite uh, this process is very complicated, we were able to uh, automate this process and to set up our own systems and materials and uh, uh, set up export and prepare flexible families for our practical use cases because we use it not only for graphical reasons but also for analysis, for calculations, and we, uh, we continue improving our skills and develop, uh, develop collaboration tool that are provided in Sophistic. So nothing special in this part of the video. It's just what happens in Revit. And as a conclusion, advantages of uh, pretension calculations in Sophistic. You can calculate reinforced concrete elements uh, with uh, uh, tensioning uh, and uh, post pretensioning, post tensioning. You can calculate uh, external uh, pre stress uh, systems, bonded and unbonded systems uh, to. Uh, uh, consider um, uh, losses, uh, time effects, uh, and uh, consider secondary reactions and moments. It's just an excellent uh, functionality. Use parameterization, and you can set up the software via text editor and calculate geometric parameters and volumes. It's important for detailed drawings. Thank you very much. And if you have questions, I'm ready to provide answers. An excellent presentation and on time again. So do you have any questions to Igor? Yes, there are some, please. I'm Piotr Ivanilov, Neo Project. Can you go back to the slide with the slab, 3D slab? with columns, the very first view. With the video, yeah, there was video, and it looks like uh, solid modeling. Uh, is it so solid modeling? Yes, it is. So 
you can uh, set uh, beam elements with certain pretension uh, parameters. Is it possible or you don't use the, these options? Um, it's easy, actually. Uh, maybe it looks like, like it's... Uh, I mean, uh, the word finite element Finite, finite element. Uh, oh, it, it was visualization. Uh, you can you can set the visualization you need, uh, transparency or solid uh, solid uh, uh, structure or finite element. Okay, thank you. I got it. Another question, please. Say your name and give your question. Sergey Goloskov, Moss Project 3. Pretension uh, reinforcement in uh, curved elements. For instance, uh, let's. Uh, so uh, we have a curved highway and pretensioned. Uh, reinforcement are uh, in the same plane but uh, they are curved and we uh, use access uh, to and in order to set up the geometry of those reinforcement elements we need too many points but is it possible to set the to, to just to set some restricted parameters and all the other and uh, the the and, and the plane the coordinates can be um, selected automatically if you can use a text editor you can use um, axes and curves and you can you can use them but uh, in terms of uh, plane views we implemented uh, such uh, reinforcement layout that forces you to set uh, special points. But uh, uh, it's simply because uh, it's suitable to our needs. But this uh, family is being developed further, so maybe we can implement that. It's not complicated, I think, to find a solution to your problem. And when we calculate the geometry, we do not set uh, uh, these points. Uh, we complicate use text editor to transfer them so it's possible to uh, import uh, a curve into the software and uh, set the path of the reinforcement and can we uh, can we discuss details later with you or with whom you can see my contact details here and I s as far as I understand, the conference materials and uh, business cards will be there. Yes, uh, the website uh, will be accessible to participants of the conference, and uh, you can review the results and contact the speakers. You can uh, use uh, the lunch break for uh, networking purposes, and uh, you can have a meal and um, ask your questions. Yes, I already mentioned it. Uh, there are people with red badges around, and you can uh, ask questions to those experts. Now, I have a very uh, brief question to you. Igor, is it possible? Can you uh, tell us? If uh, let's imagine uh, a, a, a customer wants uh, to uh, to build a house for 100 apartments, uh, how much time is needed to prepare all pro design and uh, detailed drawings and documentation? Well, it's I, I'm not the right person to answer these questions. Okay, in this case. We take a lunch break and please be back on time.